Hello, everybody, and welcome to Marvelous Muscle Monday. It's April 6th. Beautiful day. Hopefully, you get outside. I did some yard work myself. Uh, I'm just trying to keep myself going, right? So, let's start off the way we do every class. Bob's flag of the country. Hands to the masters. And to each other. Step up. And X block. Hi! Bob. And running in place. I know today I did not make an earlier announcement about today's class. It slipped my mind. So hopefully everybody knows that we're doing this at 5.30. And if not, well, they'll see it maybe in a lot of time. Jump, jump. So today we're going to be working on a bunch of blocking forms. Um, going to cover pretty much all the blocking sets that we do in this school. Work on some hand strikes. We're going to do the children's yellow belt syllabus as well as working on the adults' purple belt syllabus. So we got a bunch of things to cover today. And bicycles. shoulder and then the left look over the right and the left look to the right and to the left eyes forward chin up and stretch your chin up and down stretch it up and down let your head roll side to side Circle your arms in. And circle back. Circle in. Circle back. Front and back. Circle around. Remember, everything that we do, you should be doing at your own pace. You should be making sure that you're not doing anything to overwork yourself. Push yourself a little bit. That's good. But maintain your health, right? Lean to the right. And to the left. Right to the left, and look up and lean back and stretch down, roll your arms in a circle, and bring your hands up and bring them out to the sides, and then reach down, touch your toes. Bring your hands up, breathe in, breathe out, as you bring your arms down. Very good. Roll your hips around. We get a lot to cover, so we're going to go through a slightly less warm-up period than we usually do. Just enough to get the body moving. Very good. Roll your knees around. Change directions. Push your legs back, chin up, 
Again, you want to keep your back straight while you're doing this. Let your arms reach down, touch your toes. Now, keep your feet flat on the ground and lift your toes. It's going to help a little bit more with your stretch. So again, you don't pick your feet up. Just pick your toes up. Excellent. Put your arm out in front, pull it across. And switch to the other side. Pull your arm back. And switch and pull the other side back. Excellent. Just nice big windmill type circles. Change directions. Legs apart. And we're going to do windmills. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, very good. So, let's get on with our workout. So we're gonna start with Dachi no Kata, just for our stances. We're gonna go through all of our ba uh, basic stuff first. So let's start with Dachi no Kata. So we'll do our bow, attention. When you do your ready stance, I want you to Move your heels out and square your feet forwards. Put your hands out in front of you. Very good, elbow position. Pull tight just above your hip. You wanna be in that space between your hip bone and your ribs. That's the space you wanna cover. Your arms are in there to help protect that empty space. And then right foot steps to your horse stance. Make your X block, hey! Right back to that elbow position. Turn both your feet on a 45 degrees, facing the corner, bend your right knee, and you're in a front stance. And then turn your back foot and sit back on that leg. Now it's your left leg you're sitting on, there's your back stance. Turn your foot, you're in a front stance. Turn your right foot out again, sit back on your right leg, there's your back stance. Bring your foot forwards to a cat, on guard, crane stance, cross, bend, there's our twist stance. I'm kind of getting out of camera frame, so I'm just going to adjust in the left. Put your right foot forward to the cat, up to a crane, cross and twist, shift out to your horse stance. So you're ready, and then your attention. We're going to go through that one more time. We're going to stay in each stance for a five count. So, bow, attention, ready, elbows, horse stance. Hey! One, two, three, four, five. Turn to your front stance. One, two, three, four, five. Shift to a back stance, sitting on the other leg now. One, two, three, four, five. Your right foot turns, now you're facing to the left, front stance. One, two, three, four, five. Shift to a back stance. One, two, three, four, five. Bring your foot back to a cat stance. You go to a fighting guard. One, two, three, four, Five. Raise it up to a crane stance. One, two, three, four, five. Twist stance. One, two, three, four, five. Cat stance. One, two, three, four, five. Crane stance. One, two, three, four, five. Cross and twist. One, two, three, four, five. And back to your horse stance, elbow position. One, two, three, four, 
five. Ready, stance. Attention. Front position, ma. Excellent. So let's go over blocking forms. We do one through five. So let's start with the abato. Horse stance with a key. Hey! Right hand out block, left hand out block. Right hand in block, left hand in block. Right hand up block, left hand up block. Down block, down block. Hey! Right foot meets your left and bow. Again, bow. Lift your right leg up, step to a horse stance. Hey! Out block, one, two. In block, three, and four. Up block, five, and six. Down block, seven, and eight. Finish, hey! And bow. Blocking form number two. We're gonna do it on a side view. Bow. Right foot over to your horse stance. Hey! Right foot forwards, out block. Left foot forwards, out block. Step back, in block. Step back, in block. Look to your right. Move your right leg, both feet points the same direction. Step with the right and up block. Look over your left shoulder, move your left leg up and turn around. Both feet should be facing to the other direction. Step with your left leg, up block. Step forwards and down block. Kneel stance and down block. Step back and finish with the key. Hey! And bow. One more time. This time I'm going to do it with a back view. So bow. Right foot over. Hey! Right foot forwards and out block. Left foot forwards and out block. Step back with your left leg, in block right. Step back with your right leg, in block left. Look, move your right leg, move your right leg and up block. Move your left leg, turn around. Move your left leg and up block. Look to your right, move your right leg, move your right leg again, down block. Kneel stance and down block. Step back and finish, hey, and bow. Blocking form three. Now, if you don't have these, you can try it along with us. That's fine. Um, so we're going to do it on a front view. Wow. Hey! Blocking form three. Now, this time, as we step forwards, we're going to do our block, but we're going to move our hips, and then go back to the middle. This is about learning to use your whole body when you block. Step back in block. Move your body. Then recenter. Step back in block. Recenter. Turn. Up block. Go out and recenter. Turn. Up block. Rotate out. Recenter. Horse stance this time. Down block past your leg. Down block past your leg. You want to lean away from your block. Hey! And bow. One more time for block form number three. I'm going to do it from a side view this time. Bow. Hey, right foot forwards, out block. Move your belly button and your hips, and then move back to the middle. Out block, moving back. Step back, in block. Step back, in block. Move your right foot up. Move your right leg forwards, up block and turn. Move your left leg up, turn. Move your left leg up, out block with the turn. Move your left leg to a horse stance. Lean to your left side, down block right. Lean to your right side, down block left. Hey! And bow. Walking form four and five. This is a special request for Sensei Terran down in Florida, so hopefully everybody else gets to get something out of this as well. So I'm going to do it um, in the front view and then the side view. So bow. Hey! Right foot forwards, palm block, and then a knife hand block. Keep both hands out. Step forwards, palm block in, knife block out. Again, both hands stay out. Step back, in block, knife block. It's the same thing going forwards and backwards. Turn, my hands are still in this position. Two up blocks and then I recenter. I turn and I do my two up blocks, recenter. Down block to the front corner. I'm not going past this time, just to the front corner. Turn to a front stance, two up blocks. Again, my hands stay out. 
Down block, this hand's still out there. Turn to up blocks. There are no elbow positions except for now. Hey! And right foot, meet your left foot and bow. We'll do that one one more time on a side view. Bow. Step out. Hey! Step forward, double fan block. That's the other name for that. Then double fan block. It's a push and a block. It could be a push and a strike. Push and a strike. Turn to up blocks. Turn to up blocks. Turn. A down block and two up blocks. A down block, two up blocks. Hey! And a bow. Very good. Block and form five. Number five. So five is the same as four, except we're going to do a returning strike to it. So, bow. Step out. Hey! Double fan block, punch. Step, double fan block, punch. Step back, double fan block with a hammer. Step back, fan block with a hammer. I turn, two knife blocks up, tiger mouth. I turn, two up blocks, then a tiger mouth. Down, two up blocks and a palm strike. Down, two up blocks and a palm strike. Hey! Side view. Bow. Hey! Double block punch. Double block punch. Hammer. Hammer. Tiger mouth. Tiger mouth. Palm strike. Palm strike. Hey! And bow. We got two more I want to cover, and I'm going to do them. I'm going to do them once each for now. You guys can record them back later. Uh, this is my version of the 10 point blocking system, of 10 point blocking form. Bow. Hey! Out block with rich hands, down blocks with knife hands. Rich hands that turn to knife hands. In press, press down it with a triangle, hands stack one on top of each other, I turn, push high and low, come back here, push, cover, two out blocks, grab, down elbow, and palms, down elbow, double palm, and bow. One more time for that. So, 10 point blocking form. So, bow, ready, ridge hand, knife hand. Ridge hands that split out to knife hands. In blocks, press down. I call them pancakes instead of a cup and saucer. Put one hand on top of the other. This time I'm going to my right side and push. Cover here, turn, push. Double block with the ridge. Pull them in with a down elbow. Circle push, down elbow, circle push, and then I finish. It's a symmetrical kata. Whether you go to the right or the left, doesn't really matter in the long run. Um, just work on the techniques, okay? And um, grab yourself a quick sip of water. We're going to cover the yellow belt list for the kids. And then we're going to do purple belt for the adults. So grab yourself a quick sip. I'll be right back. So, it's already on the YouTube channel, Junipo. That's yellow belt technique, uh, kata for kids for going to ye uh, yellow belt. We're going to go over it once right now, and um, then we're going to do the self defense techniques on the list. So, I'm going to start in a ready position. Reach out, close your hands, left hand on top, right hand on the knee, pull back, and do a knife block. Step punch, step punch, punch key. Hey! I turn, step punch, 
turn, step punch, step punch, turn and out block. Step punch, step punch. Here's the tricky part. Step forwards with your right leg, turn both feet, and then punch with your right hand. Do not move your feet, your right leg should be in the back. Step punch, step punch, step forwards, turn around and out block. Step back and ready. Very good. So, let's do that one time from the side. So, reach out, close, pull back and block. Step punch, step punch, punch key ahead. Open my hand, thumb goes down, palm is towards the right. Turn my foot and move my hand. Step punch, step punch, turn around, bring my feet together, then slide out of block. Step punch right, step punch left, step right, turn my feet, my left hand still out, punch, head. Step right, punch left, step left, punch right, step forwards, turn around and out block. Step back and ready, and bow. Okay, coiling snake. So we're gonna jump into the self-defense techniques. There's a few of them to cover. So coiling snake, someone grabs you from behind, you step behind, lift, circle, uppercut. Hey! Walk away, look around, coiling snake. So let's try that again. I'm gonna lift my arm, fall back, grab both of their arms, Uppercut, punch into the belly. Gonna pull this in tight. Walk away. Coiling snake. So from here, lift, turn, grab, punch. Hey! Walk away. Coiling snake. Rotating destruction B. If someone's grabbed you below your arms in a bear hug, your arms are free. Do a stop. Two elbows. Hey! Walk away. And that's rotating instruction B. Let's try that again. So you're gonna stomp down, two elbows, hey! Walk away, rotating instruction B. Downward hammer. So downward hammer, someone grabs an arm, they throw a punch at the side of your head. Do an out block, do a down block and an up block. When you do your down block, pull your hand to elbow position. You're breaking the grip here. Do your strike up, turn your feet, walk away. Downward hammer. You can work both sides if you like. So it's out block. When I do my down block, I pull my hand to elbow position. Hit up with another up block. Walk away. Downward hammer. Battering ram. So choke defense. Grab, fall back with a punch. Lift, turn, down elbow, side elbow, hey! Walk away, look around, say the name, battering ram. I trap, I fall back and I punch. Lift, turn sideways, down elbow, hey! I walk away, and that's downward, uh, battering ram. Again, trap, punch, up, turn, down elbow, hey! Walk away, look around, battering ram. Menacing twirl. So these are our kicking, uh, punch defense. Someone throws a punch, circular to the head. I block it, I can do a double fan, like we were doing on the blocking four and five. Four and five. We can do an out block. Front kick, turn back kick, hey! Around, say the name, menacing twirl. I'm gonna do it from the side, I back do. So I'm gonna step to my right, cat stance, block, front kick, turn back kick, yeah. Walk away, look around, menacing twirl. Elbows outside. So straight on punch comes in, twist. All I'm gonna do is move the right foot over, and as I turn my body, there's my end block. Slide in with an elbow strike. One, two. Walk away. Elbows outside. So punch coming at me. I just oh, move out of the way. Give him a poke. Then follow with two elbows. 
walk away, look around, say the name, elbows outside. We'll do that one one more time. And uh, from the side view here, I shift my left leg over, right leg over, and I block in with my left. And I go poke at that left elbow. I'm moving in, might as well hit him with it, right? And then one, two. Two roundhouse elbows, and I walk away. Last one is the overhead club. Overhead club one. So, best I think on a side view. Start with your defensive hands. Put your hands up, palms out. Step with your left leg, turn to the corner, X block. Remember we talked about this one last week. You don't want to stop their arm. You want to just kind of intercept and let it keep moving. I push it down between their legs. I take the stick and I push them away. Walk away, and that's overhead club one. Let's try that again. Hands in defensive posture. Step in, walk, and I move my whole body, and I push one more time. So it's block. Now this kind of looks like what we did in blocking form three. All right, we're going to be doing that whole body thing to make ourselves stronger. You're going to push down between the legs, take the stick out, push them away and walk away. So that's our Yellow Belt Kids list. Again, refer to the YouTube channel for Janipo if you want um, more, more work with it. And um, we've been covering these techniques now for a while. Hopefully they help out. Grab yourself a quick sip and we're going to move on to the adult purple belt. I know I'm throwing a lot of stuff out right now. I just want to cover the material. If we spend a lot of time doing a few things, then it might get too repetitious. And if I give too many things with too few repetitions, that might not be able to be retained. But since this is a video medium, and you can always go back to it, I'm looking at the latter uh, being more important. More, uh, slightly more material, and you can do the extra repetitions on your own. This should not be your only workout for the day when it comes to this stuff. Take part of it and work it some more. Spend another 15 minutes doing some part of what we just did today on your own. Or take something from the YouTube channel and work on it for an extra 15 minutes. Don't let this be the only thing if you can help it. It'll be to your benefit, okay? So, combinations. We're going to do combination number 9 and 10. So start with your guard. This is for the adult purple belt. Side kick. Grab and forearm strike. Go to a guard. Front side kick. Grab here. 10 combination. Start in a cat stance. You're going to block on the opposite. Do a front kick. And then two punches. Move forwards. Now your cat stance should be on the same side with the punch out. Block to the opposite. This is that double fan block again we worked on from blocking form four. Front kick, double punch. One more time, cat stance, block, kick, double punch. Kick set number four. Kick set four is a little bit trickier. I'm going to do it a side view. I apologize, I can't get the height I used to. So it's going to be a crescent kick to a side kick, turn all the way around, and then with the other leg, do an outside crescent kick. And then start again. You're going to do your crescent kick, side kick. Do not put your foot down until you've turned around. And then do your outside crescent kick and a punch. Crescent kick, side kick, turn outside and punch. Crescent kick and side kick, outside crescent kick, punch. My apologies, this is the bad side of my hip. Don't work so good like it used to. So, rotating instruction A and C. So, side views. 
So someone's grabbed you over your arms this time. So we do a stomp down on the heel, uh, the ball, uh, instep of their foot. Sit in the horse stance, pick your arms up. Push them straight out. Don't lift their arms out as much as you sit down and push your arms out. Grab on. I'm going to grab with my left side because I'm doing a right-handed technique. Right elbow strike, hammer strike, groin. A, I would take their arm over my head and I would push them down, sweeping through the leg. So again, I stop. As I sit, I'm going to push my arms out. Don't try to lift their arms up. You won't be able to. You want to sit and push your arms out. Grab left, elbow and hammer. That hand that's holding on, pull the arm over your head, push them down with a sweep. You walk away, rotate the destruction. A. C, same openings, slightly different finish. So we do the stomp, the step, and the lift, grab, elbow, hammer, elbow up to the face this time. I'm going to step behind their leg, and I'm going to sit in a horse stance and go, uh, here I am. Again, so over the arm bear hug, stomp, step out, sit and push out. Hook, elbow, hammer, elbow up. Step behind, push out. They should be going over your leg at this point. So that's rotating instruction C. Full Nelson one. Very involved technique. But we'll go through the pieces. So someone gets you in a full Nelson technique. So you're going to push your head back and that elbow position. Grab two fingers if you can, elbow to the head. Bring this palm up, and then you're going to put this elbow strike, and then thumb side by side. Here's your quote of as you step back two steps. I'll do it from the front. So, push your head back. Drop, grab two fingers, and bend them back until they start to feel light. They should be trying to come up off their feet a little bit. Elbow here, come on underneath. Grab their hand. That's the one you just held. Elbow to the head. And then put your thumb side by side. This is Cody Geish. Step back. Left, right. And they should fall. Circling vice. Double wrist grab. Tiger mouth up. Grab a hand. So they grab both of my wrists. This comes up. Turn it. Grab. And then just like a sword cut. A lot of these techniques especially the jiu-jitsu techniques, they come from application, empty hand application of sword play. Come up, remember both hands are being grabbed, so I'm just gonna grab their arm right here. Turn it sideways, so I grab both, and I'm going to make like prayer hands here, and I'm gonna bend their hand forward. So again, come up, lock, and then down. Um, you can also extend it by going out to their elbow, pull in, and lock down. And that puts a slightly different twist to it. So let's try it that way. So come up, slide down to the elbow, pull in, and push their hand down. Like I said, these two techniques are rather involved. They really do need a partner. Dance of death. So seven techniques are coming in here. It's palm strike, back fist, and elbow. Grab forearm with the back fist, turn sideways and hammer, kick and get out of there. One more time. So punch comes at the side of your head, you block, strike to the face, back fist to the face, elbow to the ribs. Grab behind the head, forearm strike, back fist, hammer strike, groin, turn, walk away. Clutching snake. So this is a belted technique and um, I'm going to grab the belt really quick. So from here, block. You can use your forearm as a block and use this to block too. Punch, over, and then up. So when you're doing it alone, it's the beginning of Ja'e. So it's going to be step, 
double block, punch, double hammer, down block, and a back fist. That's how you do it by yourself. So again, one, two, three. Very good. Elbows inside. So elbows outside went to the left. This time I'm going to the right. In block, grab with an elbow, make a horse stance with an elbow here, elbow here, grab with my right, and I'm going to kick back and an elbow again. Back fist, knife strike, and punch. One more time. So from here, I'm going to left foot move in with a right in block. I'm going to grab their arm, elbow, grab the arm, left elbow, switch hands, right elbow, grab their shirt. So this is going to glance right by them, grab the shirt, elbow to the neck, jaw as you step back, horse stance with the back fist, knife hand strike, punch, and get out of there. Kick defense two. This also has applications to our uppercut knife defense. Same entrance. So step in and down block and knife block here. I'm going to catch right in between. For the kick defense, this comes up, grab the leg, chop to the neck, and sweep takedown. Punch. One more time. I'm going to step in on my left, hook with the left, chop right. I can bring them over my leg, and then punch. Walk away, kick the fence to one more time. So I'm going to move in, block, grab, chop, take down, punch. You can toss the leg out of there so you can get out and walk away. Last technique is the long bow that's used for all of our cat forms and circle forms. So I'm going to do it from the side. Attention. Elbows, front position. Twist stance and elbow strike. Cat stance, show your guard. Open your hands, step back left foot, right foot, make a circle. And then you're going to do circle left and right. Tension up. Again. Tension, elbows, front position. Twist stance, elbow strike. Cat stance, present your Kempo hand. Open up, circle. Left, right, and that's the salutation. Well, I want to thank you. This went a little longer than usual. Not much. Probably an extra five minutes. Um, thank you so much. Let's finish up with the bow to the flag, all the masters, and to each other. Until tomorrow, same time. Have a great day. Enjoy.